<laughs> Go Buster! It's a sunny day at Buster's house. Oh look! Mommy Bus is helping a kitten with a sore leg. There, all fixed and bandaged up. Scout is here to drive to school with Buster. They are playing in the playground. Oh dear! Scout hurt her tire. Buster's got an idea. What is he up to? He's bandaged up Scout's tire with toilet roll. All fixed! Great work, Buster! Looks like Ash wants to be bandaged up as well. And now Scout wants her other tires bandaged up. But Buster is all out of toilet roll. Bandit has a cheeky idea. They're all taking the toilet roll. They're getting the toilet roll everywhere. This looks very messy. They're getting a bit carried away. Oh dear, they've covered the playground in toilet roll. Teacher doesn't seem very pleased. <laughs> Mommy Bus is here to take Buster home. She wonders what has upset the teacher. Buster explains he was trying to help Scout like Mommy helped the kitten. Mommy will be able to bandage it properly. Time to get properly fixed up. It's Buster the bus and Terry Tractor. It looks like they're about to have a race. Buster looks very confident, doesn't he? Terry doesn't seem too impressed. I wonder who's going to win. Here we go. Ready, set, go! And they're away. Buster races into the lead. Come on, Terry, you can do it. I don't think Terry is as fast as Buster. Wait, what's he doing? Oh, cheeky Buster. He's showing off. Poor Terry. Buster sure is confident that he's going to win. You're not at the finish line yet, Buster. Keep going, Terry. You still have a chance. Oh, Buster, don't tease Terry. You're not being very nice. <laughs> Go on, Terry. You'll show Buster that you don't just need speed to win a race. <laughs> Buster is really far ahead now. Look at him zooming through all the muddy puddles. Oh, Buster, I know it's hot, but you can't be tired. You haven't finished the race. Look over there, it's an apple tree. I think Buster is going to take a nap in the shade. Cheeky Buster, you're getting a bit too confident, aren't you? Oh dear, Buster has fallen asleep. And look who it is, Terry Tractor. He's managed to overtake Buster. Oh silly Buster, you've slept for too long. Off he races towards the finish line. I'm not sure he's going to like what he finds. Nearly there, Buster. But where's Terry? Oh, <laughs> there he is. <gasps> Terry crossed the line first. <laughs> Silly Buster, you shouldn't have slept for so long. And you shouldn't have been such a show-off. Because it goes to show, slow and steady wins the race. <laughs> Bye, Buster. Bye, Terry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Bandit Bus is stealing from the candy shop. Stop, thief! It's Otis the police car. He's come to investigate the case of the stolen candy. Bandit Bus went that way, Otis. I don't think Otis saw Bandit Bus get away. Great idea, Otis. Follow the trail of candy. I think we know who it will lead to. There he is. Stop, thief. Look, Otis, some more clues. 
keep following the trail. Wow, Bandit Bus is dropping a lot of candy. Oh, hey, Buster. Oh, I don't think that candy is for you. Buster loves candy. Oh, dear, the trail of candy has led straight to Buster the Bus. Otis must think that Buster is the thief. You've made a mistake, Otis. Buster is innocent. Poor Buster, what are you going to do? Otis is putting Buster in jail. Oh, Buster. Oh, here comes Scout. Maybe Scout can help Buster get out of jail. You have to help Buster, Scout. Prove he's innocent. That's right, Scout. Follow the trail of candy to find the truth. Scout the detective is on the case. There he is. Bandit Bus caught red-handed stealing from the toy shop. You're going down this time, Bandit Bus. Stop right there, in the name of the law. You're under arrest. It's time to put things right and get Buster out of jail. Come on out, Buster, you're innocent. And in goes Bandit the Bus. Thanks, Scout, you're a great detective. If it wasn't for you, Buster would still be locked up. I'm sorry, Bandit Bus, but you had it coming. Stealing is against the law. Well done, Otis. Bye, Bandit. Morning, Buster. Aw, look at those lovely photos of you and your mommy. Wouldn't it be nice if you got her a gift to thank her for being so wonderful? Off Buster goes to pick up something for his mommy. Oh, wow, what's this? It's a giant grab machine. That teddy bear looks perfect for your mommy. I think Buster's going to try and win it. Go on, Buster, you can do it. Easy does it. Oh. oh no, you've dropped it, Buster. Hmm. <laughs> Nearly there. There we go. Well done, Buster. Your mommy is going to love it. Oh, oh hello, little Robin. Robin has come to help Buster look for more presents for his mom. Oh, I think Robin has spotted something. What is it, Robin? Huh? Oh, a beautiful bunch of flowers. <laughs> Great job, Robin. I wonder what else Buster could give to his mommy. Oh, look, a balloon. <laughs> Catch it, Buster, quickly. Oh, not quite fast enough, Buster. The balloon is getting away. Go on, Robin. We all know you're good at catching balloons. <laughs> Great work! What a lovely balloon. It's got a smiley face on it. Thanks for your help. Bye, Robin. Look up ahead, Buster. It's your mommy. Aw, Buster is super happy to see his mom. And she seems pleased with her lovely presents. Aw, what a lovely day Buster's had. Moms really are the best. Oh, Buster. It looks like you're having fun splashing through the muddy puddles. You're getting mud everywhere. And who's this? It's Terry Tractor. He's being a little more careful than Buster. Buster is having so much fun zooming through all these puddles. Oh, no. He's heading straight for Terry Tractor. You. That was a close one. <laughs> Be careful, Buster. The puddles are very slippy. Oh, dear. Terry Tractor is not happy with Buster. Off he goes again. Watch where you're going this time, Buster. <laughs> Watch out! Oh, no! Buster is stuck! Silly Buster. What's he going to do now? The sun's going down, and it's getting dark. I hope Buster is going to be okay. Look, everyone, it's Terry Tractor. He's come to save the day. Terry doesn't look too happy about it, though. Please help Buster, Terry. He just needs one big push. Can't he do it? One, two, here we go. Buster, thank goodness Terry Tractor was there to save the day. Bye, Terry. Bye, Buster. Buster, our favorite yellow bus. But wait, 
You don't look as bright and yellow as usual. Oh, Buster, I think you need a new coat of paint. You're looking a little scruffy. Great idea. A trip to the paint shop will do the trick. He looks like one happy customer. Buster can't wait to get a fresh new coat of yellow paint. He's going to look good as new. Oh my, what was that? That made you jump, didn't it, Buster? Oh no, Buster's mixed up the paint cans. I don't think he's realized. Is that gonna be the right color? Here goes, Buster. A fresh new coat of yellow. Oh no, that's not yellow. Buster has been sprayed red. And I don't think he's noticed. Take a look at yourself, Buster. You're a red bus. Quickly, back to the paint shop. Oh dear, you've knocked over all the paint. How will you be able to tell which color is which? Here goes. Oh no, that's not quite right. Buster is now blue. Jessie seems very surprised. Yes, it's because of how blue you are, Buster. Maybe this time you'll come out yellow. Hmm, still not yellow. Now Buster is green. Look at how confused Tony is. Fourth time lucky. Close your eyes and wish for yellow, Buster. Oh no! Jesse and Scout still don't seem to recognize you, Buster. Buster has now been sprayed pink. Wait, Buster, I'm not sure that's the answer. <laughs> Buster the rainbow colored bus. I'm not sure if Robin approves. Which paint can to choose from? One of these must be yellow. The moment of truth. Phew! There we go! That's the Buster the Bus we all know. With a bright new shiny coat of yellow paint. That was quite a colorful adventure. Buster is having fun splashing in some very muddy puddles outside his house. Look! It's Grandpa Bus! Oops! Now they're both covered in mud. But Grandpa has a plan. Where's he taking Buster? They're at the car wash to get cleaned up. Hooray! It looks like the car wash is all out of bubbles. Aha! There's the soap. Grandpa adds a small squirt. And Buster turns on the car wash. Go, Buster, go! Hang on. That's a lot of soap, Grandpa Bus. <laughs> Buster is covered in soapy bubbles. How funny. That was a very good joke, Grandpa. Now it's Grandpa's turn to get cleaned up. Looks like Buster's got a plan. He's getting his own back. Grandpa is covered in soap. He looks very silly. Look, Terry the tractor is here for a wash. Whoa, go easy, Buster. The bubbles are overflowing. Oh dear, what a soapy mess. Otis doesn't look very happy. Time to clear up the mess. What a silly day. It's a windy day at the park. Buster and Daddy Bus are here for a fun day out. Daddy Bus has a surprise for Buster. What could it be? Oh, look, it's a kite. Buster gets ready to fly it. Daddy Bus pushes it up into the air. Wow, it's flying so high. Well done, Buster. Look, it's Monty, the hot air balloon. Oh no, a big gust of wind has blown the kite away. It's caught on Monty, and he hasn't noticed. Don't worry, Buster. Daddy has a plan. Oops, watch out, Daddy Bus. Whoa, great header. Go, Buster. Bandit and Ash look very confused. Where are they going? Buster is trying to get Monty's attention. But he's not looking where he's going. Watch out! 
Oh no! Buster has driven straight into a muddy puddle. He's stuck in the mud. Daddy heaves him out. Great teamwork, guys. Uh-oh! A tree has fallen across the road. But that won't stop them. Daddy Bus flies right over the log. And Buster slides straight underneath. Wow! That was awesome! Quick! There's Monty! Looks like Daddy Bus has an idea. There's a huge pile of mud and they're splashing through it. What are they doing? They've drawn a picture of their kite in the mud and Monty has finally noticed the kite wrapped around him. Oops! Buster gets his kite back. Thank you, Monty. Hold tight, Buster. Phew, that was a close one. It's a sunny day at Buster's house. And Buster and Grandpa are having a great time playing together. Mommy Bus is off to work. Will Buster and Grandpa be able to make dinner together? Whoa, some real cooking. Buster is very excited. Let's cook. Grandpa sets up the stove. Hmm, but what comes next? Buster has an idea. It's chocolate sauce. Hmm, Grandpa doesn't think that's quite right for dinner. Let's take a look at the recipe. They've gathered all the ingredients together. Buster starts by adding some flour to the bowl. Whoa, easy there, Buster. Oops, the flour has gone everywhere. Now Grandpa and Buster are covered in flour. Buster is adding the finishing touches to the mixture. Careful the mixture doesn't go everywhere. Great job, Buster. Oops, Grandpa's tomato sauce has splattered all over the floor. And what's going on at the stove? The pot is bubbling over. Oh, look, it steamed up his glasses and now he can't see where he's going. Watch out, Grandpa. Oh dear, this isn't going very well. Grandpa and Buster are clearing up the mess. But Mommy Bus is coming home from work. Uh-oh, they still haven't made dinner. What are they going to do? Grandpa gets some fish fingers out of the freezer. Aha, this gives Buster an idea. Time for chocolate sauce. Mommy Bus is wondering what Buster and Grandpa have made for dinner, just as they're finishing up. I wonder what they've cooked. It's fish fingers and green beans. And chocolate sauce. Are you sure about this, Buster? He gives it a try. Hmm, delicious. Mommy also gives it a try. And it's surprisingly tasty. Well done, Buster. It's a sunny day and Daddy Bus is taking Buster on a trip to the beach. Buster says goodbye to Mommy Bus and off they go. Hooray! But oh dear, Otis is blocking their path. The road is closed. Buster is very upset. But looks like Daddy has an idea. It's a lovely lake. And they can go fishing instead. Buster is disappointed though, as he wanted to go to the beach. Daddy teaches him how to fish. Wow, now it's Buster's turn. Buster is bored. This isn't as fun as the beach. Why is Daddy so excited? Hang on, something is tugging on Daddy's line. What could it be? Whoa, Daddy has caught a huge fish. It's so big, Daddy isn't strong enough. Buster joins in and helps. Watch out, Buster. Oops, they've been pulled into the water. And the fish is finding this very funny. Buster and Daddy Bus won't give up that easily. Looks like they've got a new plan. The fish is swimming in the lake. Daddy casts his fishing line. 
and the fish pulls once again. It's another tug of war. Look, there's Buster floating in the lake. Aha, gotcha. Buster caught the fish with his net. <laughs> Go, Buster. Daddy is very proud. Well done, Buster. The fish swims away. See you next time, fishy. Fishing was lots of fun after all. Buster, Scout, Bandit, and Ash are having a race. Buster and Bandit are neck and neck. But Scout's dashed into the lead. Whoosh! Scout won! Nice work, Scout. She really is super speedy. What's that noise? Thunder? Oh no, it's a storm! They should take cover or they'll get all wet. Whoa, that was close. Ash nearly skidded into his friends on the wet grass. Wait a minute, that gives Buster an idea. Whoosh, <laughs> skidding through those muddy puddles is great fun. They could play a game, see who can skid the furthest. What a great idea. Bandit is going first. Swish. He skidded all the way over there. But Scout thinks she can do better. Vroom. Whoa, Scout went even further than Bandit. Now it's Ash's turn. He's so little, he's spinning round and round. He's all dizzy, but he's gone the furthest yet. Last up, it's Buster. Whoosh. Uh-oh, he's getting out of control. Whoa! Oops, Buster splashed Mommy with mud. Looks like it's time for all the little vehicles to get back home. They're back at Buster's house in no time. But wait, they can't go inside until they're all cleaned up. Mommy's going to use the hose to wash all the mud off. Splish splash. And there, now all four of them are clean again. But even so, that skidding race was so much fun. It's the end of school, and it's time for Scout to return the school flower that she'd been taking care of. Now whose turn is it to take it home and care for it? Hooray, it's Buster's turn. Buster is going really slowly. He wants to make sure he takes good care of the flower. It's time to say goodbye to Scout and Ash. Whoa, careful, Buster. That was a close one. Buster is so happy to be caring for the flower that he's drawn a picture of it. He's even brought it to dinner. <laughs> I don't think it eats carrots, Buster. It needs water instead to make sure it grows strong. But now it's time for bed. Good night, flower. The next morning, Buster is super excited for school. Careful, Buster, you don't want to knock the flower. Oh no! The flower has smashed. What is Buster doing? He's hiding it because he's afraid he'll get in trouble. Hmm, Buster is pretending to be ill. But he doesn't have a temperature. Oh, now Mommy understands. Buster doesn't want to go to school with the smashed flower. He thinks he's let everyone down. But Mommy knows what to do. They'll put the flower in a brand new pot. It looks even better than before. There, good as new. Buster returns the flower to class. Everyone is really impressed with its lovely new pot. Good job, Buster. Now it's Ash's turn to take care of it. Hooray! It's a bright, sunny day, and Buster wants to play outside. But what's this? He's left his toys all over the floor. Buster knows he should clean them up, but he really wants to go and play. Whoa! Buster's cleaning up all the toys super fast. But not very well. 
Oh dear, he's knocked that glass over. And now his mopping up has left water everywhere. Soon, Buster is outside playing. What was that? <gasps> Mommy slipped on all the water. Oh dear, the room is still such a mess. Buster feels really bad for not cleaning up well. But he can make it all better. He just has to clean up properly and take his time to do it right. Mommy and Buster can do it together, like it's a game. <laughs> Chores are so much easier to do when you find the fun in them. And they're so much faster if you work together. There, Buster is even cleaning up that drink he spilled. Perfect! The room is all tidy at last. Now Buster and Mommy can go and play ball together. Hooray! It's evening time and Buster's cousin Bandit is coming for a sleepover. This is going to be so much fun! First, it's time for a snack. I wonder what it will be. Oh, wow! Cookies! They look so tasty! Buster and Bandit love cookies. There, one each. <laughs> Yummy! Now Mommy's put them away. But Bandit knows where they are. Bandit and Buster have such a fun evening playing together. But then it's time for bed. They want to stay up longer, but Mommy says no. Hmm, I think Bandit has an idea. I wonder what he's whispering. Now everyone's fast asleep. But what's this? Bandit's waking up. Buster too. They're sneaking back downstairs. Oh, Bandit is going to steal some more cookies. That's very naughty. Oops, that made a loud noise. Mommy's caught them. She's very disappointed in Buster and Bandit. The two little buses are very sorry. They'll go back to bed now as they're told. But the next morning, Buster and Bandit have surprised Mommy by making breakfast. They wanted to show how sorry they were. Buster is so excited to go play with his best friend, Scout. What'll they play today? Ooh, Grandpa has a remote-controlled car. Buster's going to control it first. Vroom, vroom. Look at it go. Now Scout wants a go. But Buster wants to keep driving. Uh-oh, Scout doesn't think that's fair. She wants a turn. Oh dear. Now they're fighting over the remote. They both want to control the toy car. Oh no! The car crashed and broke! <gasps> now nobody can play with it. Buster and Scout are upset with each other. They're not playing anymore. 
It's so sad when friends argue. But wait, I think Grandpa has an idea. He's giving the remote to Scout and the toy car to Buster. They'll need to work together to fix it. <laughs> Aw, now they've made up. Oh. Friends always <laughs> forgive each other. <laughs> there! Now they can both control the car. 